we went and fetched the kids to come visit us for school holidays. I was the one that was initiating everything in the house. Let's fetch the kids. We had that. We brought the kids over, back, bought some McDonald's. Everything was okay. Lungelo, things changed drastically. I can't even explain what happened because on that day, we fetched the kids. On that Monday, that's when he, he, he took a drastic turn. It is 3 a.m. in the morning, Monday. Yes, he had paint. Yeah, paint, ulcers. So I took milk because usually that's what I do for him when he has ulcers. Milk and garlic, he drank them. But still, he was crying. It was the first time I saw that big giant cry. He was crying tears, begging God to please come fetch him. Mm. Begging his mother, Mom, please come fetch me. Huh? It was that bad. So, and the kids were now on the other room, sleeping. I, I didn't even know what to do at that time. Oh, I was working now. Like I got a job. I was working. You know, I even forgot that I was supposed to wake up at five, bath, go to work. I didn't go to work. I didn't report. I didn't do anything. Yes. So I called an ambulance on that Monday, four, around four. We took him to the nearest private hospital. We got there. They diagnosed him. I don't know if I may say or what, kidney. He was given a choice to get admitted or not. He said, no, I'm not going to get admitted. So they injected him with some things that the pain can... Subside. Yeah. Hit. Still, I waited by him. I waited for him. Great. We went back home. So I was like, I'm feeling much better. Okay. Later on, the pain starts again. Now we are asleep. It's going to be Tuesday. He doesn't sleep again. I'm now begging him, can we please go to hospital? Can we please go to hospital? No, I'll be fine. We're going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to go to my doctor. Okay, fine. He didn't sleep. I didn't sleep as well. Mind you, I forgot that I was working. Okay, fine. So Tuesday, around 11... I drove him to the doctor. Okay. The doctor once again injected him. Shut. The pain again. Subsided. Subsided. We went back home. I, it was only, we slept. Well, I did sleep because I couldn't take it anymore. He didn't sleep. He was busy crying next to me, but I could, I was so tired. I was so drained. Now it's on a Wednesday. Okay. I didn't sleep. I remember calling my friend, asking her, please take me to hospital. I can't take this anymore. Because now, it was on two. I was scared to drive. Now. Now we had a car. Yeah. I was scared to drive. So, my friend then didn't see my, my, my missed call in my message. She only responded to me around eight. And this person now is now pleading for, for his death. I'm literally listening to him, praying to God, please take me, please take me. Okay, fine. So my friend came, he gave, we, we drove him to another private hospital in Springs. He was walking. He was walking. Okay, fine. He signed some documents to be admitted. Again, they took blood test, discovered it's kidney again. Okay, fine. Then they admitted him. I was like, okay, I'll come back in the visiting hours. He was fine. Okay, fine. I left. Mind you, I would go twice a day. Sometimes the visiting hours was between three and four. I'd get there at three and I would leave at eight. When the visiting hours is over at four, I would sit in the parking lot waiting for seven mm -hmm. so that I can go in. Yes. Now I'm confused Kids now are in the house. I have to stress about the kids. I have to cook for the kids. I couldn't take it anymore. It was so much for me. Okay. So came back on that day. Everything was okay. It was on a Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, his brother came. 
to visit to visit him. We were not on good terms with the brother, I won't lie, we were not on good terms. But on that day, I knew I had to reach out to him for us to sort this thing. So I called him aside, said to him, whatever that I did wrong to you, that led us to be like this, can you please forgive me? Oh, we then made truth then, at, in that day. At the hospital. At the hospital. Fine. Friday. Oh, and the daughter came. The daughter was my peer. H. Yeah. Yeah. Peer. Okay. She had issues with me. She had real issues with me. Yeah. Okay, fine. No problem. Still, I stood by this man's side because I loved him so much. Okay, fine. So it was on Saturday now when I went back alone. He's now on life support. I last saw him Friday night. We spoke. On that Friday, he told me that, please, when you get home, there's a file in the other room. Should I pass on, please take out that file. It's where I pay all my insurances, funeral insurances. And when I die, can my family not take anything that belongs to me? It's all yours. Those were his words. Like, why are you calling myself? Why are you talking like this? Okay, fine. So he brushed it off. He kissed me. Okay, fine. I left on that Friday. Saturday, when I came back alone, he was now on life support. Apparently, he had feet and then, Overnight. yeah. That was Friday. That was the last time I spoke to him. That was the last time I heard his voice on that Friday. Yes. Still, his family from KZN, they're not here. It's you alone. It's me. Now, all they do is they call in. Well, it was me, my friend, and my friend's husband. Mm -hmm. the, the husband was best friend. So it was two, two. Yeah. It was those yeah. things. Yes. It was now us. All they could do was call. Call. You guys can hear. We're saying he's getting worse. But you don't even have the decency to come. Take a taxi. No. Not a flight. They couldn't. A taxi. They couldn't. They only came. Train. No. They had. They have cars. Hmm. This other lady wants. People who afford. Yes. Yeah. They only came on Monday night. Tuesday morning, he passed on. I was by him. The entire time. The entire time. I never left. I was so drained. I even forgot that I was working. I don't know if that's making sense. Mm -hmm. I was not even aware that I was working. Mentally, you were so removed. Yeah. I, reality. I, yes. And remember, kids now. I had to take them back because I, I couldn't. I couldn't deal with it. Okay, fine. So it was on Monday. Yeah, Monday, Monday afternoon. The doctor um, had asked to see me the following day for him to give me an update. So now the family walks in. The one from Soweto, not the one from KZN. They come now in a group. You know, the first thing they said, why is she in control? Why is she signing documents? That's the first thing they said to me. Hmm. So I was like, I was so humble. I even said to them, I'm only signing because it was only me who was here. Who was here. So everything I had to sign because I had to give them consent to do tests, do everything. Yes. So what do you mean? So I took a step back because now they're here. And literally that's what I did. I took a step back. Okay. So now it was on, okay, the, they also arrived late, the others from KZN. So now it's a matter of they have to sleep where I stay now with the guy. Okay, fine, no problem. They see him, they cry. He was on life support, sedated. Great. Took their bags, put them in the car. We drove, I was driving. We drove to the house. We were driving his car. We drove. Okay, fine. Now it's in the morning, Tuesday morning. I have an appointment, 7 a.m. have to go see the doctor so that he can tell me. 
the updates. Um, then the the niece, my boyfriend's niece, the one from Kazakhstan, volunteered to go with me. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, it's fine. We drove, got to the hospital. The doctor arrived, he did his rounds, and there was around nine a.m. when he said, "Please come in." Me alone. Walked in. He was lying there in his bed. It was me and the doctor here. I I could see. Literally, I I could see. Now he had pipe. Like he was, I don't know what was happening. So the doctor said to me, this guy is deteriorating. So I was like, isn't there anything that you can do? But see, the doctor said, no, we've, we've, we've tried all we could. We, we've really tried all we could. So as he was saying that, now the niece walked in. I, I, I don't remember quite well. The niece now walked in. While she was walking in, and I'm looking at him, I could see those things. I don't know what to call them. Those things that check your BP and like everything was like dah, 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 dah. like he was now passing on like and I was looking at him so okay the nurses came they took me out I asked what what's happening it's like no can you please drink these pills to calm you down I, I couldn't understand what was happening why am I being calmed down is he is he dead what's what's happening okay so the psychologist then took me to a room Okay, I drank these two pills, and then that's when they said he's no more. Literally, like he's no more. I, I, I couldn't. I, I had to like go see for myself. Like I had to. I literally begged them, like, "Can I, can I please go? Like, please come down first. I couldn't. So they took me. When I got there, I could see he was. Breathing. So I was like, no, but he's breathing. No, it's the pipe that's inside him. He's no more. I cried. I'm I, I, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Baby, yeah. kissed him. He was no more. He was just there with his um, mouth opened with this pipe inside. It was gone. It was, it was gone. Yo, that day, 25 June. 2024 that was the worst day of my life so now we had to drive back home so now it's full everyone's there his colleagues are there and now i'm being asked please give us the gun they want to take everything he was a cop remember they want to take everything like i'm still processing whilst i'm giving out the guns and doing everything now the sister two sisters are now sitting in the bed Opening my wardrobes, taking out his clothes. Okay. Fine. Without my consent. But it's fine. It was okay. That's when they said, and I still think it was very insensitive of them to do that. Were you aware that he has a two-year-old? In KZN. Just like that. Mm. Just like that. Yo, I put to that day. Yo, I cried. I said, no. It's here. He has. With the girl from kids at N. And we went to check the child. He sent us there. Yeah, fan and I. The yeah. child looks like him. Yes. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I had a choice then. There and then. To take my things. And remove yourself from the situation. Yes. But then again, I, I stayed. Did. Then again, I stayed. Are you acknowledged as his partner during the funeral week? <sighs> Things got better. Things got better now. They were now able to talk to me. Yes. I remember even that time, even that night. Okay, that daughter was also called. She came, cried. Okay, whatever. Shop. At night... She came into my room. She said, I'm quoting her words. Lungelo, I know we have issues. But I want to ensure you that everything that's here in this house, nobody's going to take. 
take it away from you. Those were her words. It's like, okay, we made truce then. Great. Fine, I felt, okay, welcome and okay, fine. Even the brother, the one that I made truce with, sat me in the dining room that night. It was the two of us then because everyone now was now sleeping. I was so transparent with them. So there was a paper where he wrote his beneficiaries for work thingies. I had a choice to hide all of that if I wanted to, if I wanted to be spiteful. But I, I gave the family everything. I made it easy for them to go came wherever. Great. They went, he came, tamed. So now the sister and the daughter come to me in the bedroom. It's, it's in the morning. It's another day. Um, we're thinking of buying clothes for the memorial service and the funeral with a certain portion. So we've included you as well in that. It's them saying that to me. It's like, well, okay, thank you so much. They were so considerate. Thank you, guys. Great. Okay, that was it. His memorial service was only Wednesday, I remember. So now... Oh, now I'm driving. Oh, his car is now parked. We're not supposed to drive his car because he has passed on. So we're now using the other car's sister's cars and because they drove from KZN to here. I'm the one that's driving again. Okay, the daughter also has her car. I'm driving the sister's car. And I'm like, oh, okay. We, Sibambi saying. United. We're united. Yeah. Great. We, we went, did our nails. Everything, preparing for the memorial service. Must. But the funeral was in case it in. Great. After doing our nails, we went to the mall. The sister bought me clothes for the memorial service. Great. Everything was okay. We went back home. So it was after the memorial service. After the memorial service, the same day, we had to drive to KZN. Yeah. Yeah. I drove. She was sitting next to me. I drove. We were that okay now. We were that okay. We drove together and Ashem, they treated me so well. I don't want to lie. They they treated me so well. Okay, fine. We buried him, but then I didn't go to the graveyard. Yeah, I only went to the church. Yeah. Not yeah. Okay. I didn't go. To, and they made sure that they follow correct procedures. Mm. Oh, even my sister's gay. My family were there to support me. Mm. Everything was okay. Yeah, shut Fast forward, we now come back. It's now over. I'm told that July, they're going to do a cleansing ceremony for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's also fine. But before the cleansing ceremony, it was on the 19th July. Before the cleansing ceremony, now my friend, the person that is supposed to be my friend, the one that I told you about, remember? Okay. I don't know how they exchanged numbers with the sister. Until this day, I, I don't know. So the sister now calls from KZN. Remember, now I'm back to this lonely, cold house. I have to go back home. There's no way I'm going to carry on staying here. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I still haven't gone to work. Mind you. So how am I going to pay for the rent? I'm even lost for words. Okay, fine. Come back. I make a decision. I'm not going to stay here. So I have to move things. Oh, it was discussed. Do you remember? It was told. You're going to take everything in the house. Remember by the daughter and the brother. Yes. So now I have to take all of these things, put them somewhere safe. I have to leave. Okay, fine. So now the sister calls my friend. On that day, I was with my friend. We were in the car sitting. Last speaker. She calls. Hi. Zubani Bani. Um, I hear that Ulungelo is moving. And how is she moving? Please make sure she doesn't take the furniture. Why wasn't she calling me to say that? Why did she feel the need to call my friend? What are they discussing? What relationship do they have? Exactly. Nothing. None. They never even knew each other. Mm. So what relationship has been built in this last month? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So my friend now pretended as if she's not with me. No, okay, I'm going to ask, but I don't know. Okay, fine. So now she comes up with this plan. Don't, uh, don't say you were with me. Don't, con don't confront her so that I can know what she's thinking. We can be a step ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it felt like a great idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I, but me being me, I couldn't. So now she calls me. The sister calls me now at night. Hi, Lungelo. So I got pissed off. I was like, why are you calling me? Because when you said this to my friend, like me, like, don't lie. You were on loudspeaker. That's when everything turned south on that day. She hung up, meaning she called the friend or what. Now my friend calls me. You're such a betrayer. Now she's angry. She's fighting with me. You're such a betrayer. How can you do this to me? Why are you throwing me under the bus? I'm like, I wasn't doing under the bus. She was the one that was denying that she said those things to you. And I had to say, no, you are on loudspeaker. Mm. So it was me defending you. No, but I don't need that. Our friendship ended that night, mm -hmm. that day. Mind you, I still have to go to KZN and, and go cleanse. Mm -hmm. It was a big thing. It was, it was a big thing. It was a big thing. I don't want to lie to you. So... Okay, now the daughter calls me. It was days after. Lungelo, have you moved the things? Like, yes, I just took a few things. TV, those ones. He's like, okay, I'll have, you have to stop. Because it is said by the adults, you will take everything once you've done the cleansing. Mm -hmm. The 10 days after things type of things like oh okay but i've already taken she was like okay please don't say it to, don't say anything to anyone it stays between us mm. we were still fine mm. then okay fine i never said anything now the sister calls me it was four days i think left for us to go to kzn to to do a cleansing now she calls me there's tension remember of because of what happened hi long hello um i'll need you to please Bring back the clothes that I bought you from the for the memorial service. I want to sell them. Or you're gonna have to pay me my money. Is there a thing? Hmm. Is there a thing like that? Bring back the clothes. I want to sell them. Or if you can't, pay back the money. It was one point three. I I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. I was like, what, what's happening? You guys came to me, but it's fine. Now I call the daughter. Your auntie is saying this. The daughter's like, oh, you know what? This one, don't mind her. It's fine. I'll pay the money. It's the daughter. Okay. Fine. We go to the cleansing together with the daughter and the twins. Okay. She's driving we, with uh, her car. Okay, we go to the cleansing. At that time, there was tension, remember, between me and the sister. So I tried by all means to avoid, to avoid her. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, it was a cleansing. They, I got cleansed. We, came, we went on a Friday. We came back on Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Okay, on Sunday, I think I called my manager apologizing. Luckily, he understood, like, you know what? It's fine. You can come back to work when you're ready. Okay, fine. Days went by. I went to work. I got a call from the daughter. What is this that I'm hearing? She's asking me. Okay, what are you hearing? I don't know. It was said or created or what? I said this about that one, something like that. Really? But she was like, but knowing who auntie, I don't believe her. Those were her words. So Minana, we we cool. We still cool. Even if you said those things, it's fine. Okay. We moved past that as well. Aibo. Now I'm getting phone calls. Now my friends are even involved. I had to involve my best friend. It's like, Jimmy Pella, this is happening. I understand. My friend's like, give me one of their numbers. I gave her the sister's numbers. 
my friend, I don't know what happened, Dick. Turned sour as well. My friend is very harsh. Mm. Turned sour. I mean, I'm no longer involved. I, I took a step back. Cause Are you still living in the house? No, I moved. You moved home. Are you still driving the car? Oh, no, I didn't mention the car part. The same brother that told me that I'll make sure nobody takes the car. Yeah. He's the one that took he's the one that took the car first. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So oh and the man is on now by the way, to be more feel. And you can't fix it. I don't know, and I don't care. So yeah. Now my friend is involved. Everyone is now involved. It's a lot. My family, my sisters now are involved. They, we're exchanging words. I won't lie. I even said, there was a time away. I said some hurtful things to the sister because mm-hmm. I felt like I was, how could, she, how could she create such a story that I was dating my boyfriend's friend and then they found me sleeping in the house with that same boyfriend? Does it make sense? How did I even open the door mm-hmm. to let them in if I knew that I was sleeping with my, my my boyfriend's friend. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. So they were create. She was now creating things. Okay. Now. Two cops come. To the house. Colleagues. His colleagues. I, they came to give me um, money. And as it were to call it. To sympathize or okay. what. Miguel. Miguel. Yeah. Come, they come. I'm with the friend. Now I'm skipping, sorry. It's near friend, but it's right. I'm with the friend then. They say to me, why are you not claiming anything? I was like, how am I supposed to claim? Because I'm not part of the beneficiaries. They said to me, no, there is a law. You lived with this person for five years. Mm. You are eligible to get something. Yeah. So in their ways, they were enlightening me. Yes. The family is busy claiming when you're told. Yes. yes. And you do qualify to claim, by yes. the way. Yes. Oh, okay. Still, I made the daughter aware. That I'm going to claim. That two people, two cops, my boyfriend's colleagues, came, made me aware that there is a claiming thingy. I made her, I was transparent like that mm. to her. Mm. Okay, fine. So, okay, whatever happened, happened again. My friend, we, we fought sharp. I went to the station, police station, to get information. They, about the claiming. When I got there, I received forms written life partner application. Clearly stated even if you were not married, but you lived with him for a certain period, you have to. There is a portion that you must get, whatever, whatever. It provided mm-hmm. the documents that they need. You have to, like, pro- qualify. Yes, yes, provide everything that's needed there. Yes. So, on that very same day, I got a call from the girl, the daughter. I heard you were by my dad's work. work. You went there to claim... Like, no, I went there to get information. Remember I told you that there are people. I was like, oh, okay. And I asked her, how would you feel if I was to claim? You would be greedy. 